Cordell Tate. So, like I said, you opened up at, at Pitt, a little meet, but now here in Boston, what was the experience out here in the hurdles? Uh, I mean, it's a fun environment. The hurdle guys are a bunch of bunch of fun guys. Everybody's competitive. So, I mean, to be out here, technically, legitimately, from like my debut, it's a good time. I mean, like you said, your debut, it's your first year as a pro coming out of last year. How do you kind of transition between 2023 and now? Um, I just got the ability to go into a season with actual training. I don't, I'm not coming straight from home or fresh off of a season. So I had a full off season, got to work out, work on certain things that we wanted to work on, and hopefully we achieve our goal this summer. And is it changing anything for you in terms of like mindset or anything like that? Kind of, not really. Like, of course, you're going to learn things when you're experiencing something new like that. But a lot of the mindset that I already had going into it. It just kind of reinforced those things, you know, the values I hold strong, uh, the things that I choose to focus on a lot. It kind of, you know, re recertified all of that for me, so it feels good, feels normal. And obviously, there was a lot of hype last year with you being in D2, right? Do you still feel like a D2 athlete, even though, you know, you're out there with the pros? Do you still have that kind of D2 athlete? I... Honestly, I'm just one that loves to have a chip on my shoulder regardless. I prefer to never be the favorite because a lot of people will look at it, look at things and be like, well, where did he come from? But if you look into things, people don't really come from nowhere. They usually have a resume. You just weren't looking. So, I mean, I'm fine with being overlooked and seeing, you know, rankings and lists. I just, it's perfect for me. I love to see it. And what is going on next for you this season? What's next for you? Uh, we'll be in New York next week in USA's and... I think, you know, hopefully we make that team, so then we'll debate on if we're going to go to Worlds or not. Uh, we'll see. Okay.